Have you made a film before? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Do you want to ask that for real? Do you want an intro or anything? Like, no, I'm, this is it. Oh, okay, this is great. it. We're Love in it. it. Love it. We're in it. We're Love doing it. it. Have I made a film before? I have made a film. I've made several uh, student films. Um, I studied at the University of Oklahoma um, in their art school. Mm -hmm. um, they had a film division in their art school. So when you think of art students making non-narrative, free-flowing, non-structured, black and white, 16 millimeter films. That was you. That's what I didn't want to be. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone else were, was making these like really intense think pieces on, uh, you know, like based on the works of Stan Brakhage and, and uh -huh. really intense art, artsy, artsy stuff. Uh, and I wanted to do straight narrative. Luckily, I had a professor uh, named Heidi Mao, who was very encouraging, regardless of our field of study. And so after I made a couple of, like short narrative films uh, that are really bad to watch now. She was like, I think you should consider doing she something was else. Like, no, she was like, this is really, this is really interesting. Um, what are you gonna do for your thesis, your capstone? I'm gonna do exactly what you think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write a werewolf musical. <laughs> And she goes, oh, okay, great, well. Howl at the Moon? Is uh, that the title? No, it, was, it, it wasn't that clever. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was called Werewolf the Musical. And so I started writing it, and I got two songs in, and they were, like, there was a werewolf tap dancing number as the transformation's happening. And I was like, there's no f***ing way I can shoot this um, <laughs> wow. as, like, a student film on a student budget. I want to see you um, make Teen Wolf with this. It was really, like, it was a great <laughs> idea. I thought it was a really great idea. Because the tap dancing, like every, essentially he would do an, a routine and every, at the end of every routine, the flourish would be like a body part shifting. Uh -huh. And so like he would do one and then throw his hand out and the claws would elongate and then he would like recompose himself and keep going. <laughs> um, have you ever thought about pitching it to Image? I have, I have not actually. Should, Musicals don't play well on uh, on paper. You could in, be the first. In comics. You could be um, first, man. So I'm making, no, so I'm trying yeah. to make this damn musical and it's failing. Uh, and she says, well, why don't you, um, why don't you try something else? You know, pitch pitch the class something else because it was a peer review thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I said, well, I really want to do. Um, you know, I, I've been heavily interested in comics the whole time, and I've been doing comics throughout my throughout art school. Uh, what if I just did like a sixty-page comic story about essentially my first kiss? And she was like, oh, that sounds super sweet and interesting. Uh, go off and write it. And so I wrote it. And then did started, werewolves have anything to do with your first kiss? Uh, no, but it was in the woods. Oh, um, under a full moon. Yeah, that's where it comes from. Romance. We had just made progress. And so I went off and wrote it, and then realized that there was no way I had time to draw that because I, I I'm not very good at drawing, and nor am I very good at drawing quickly. Okay. Uh, and so I, I ended up doing like a 20 page comic uh, for my capstone, and then where did you find your artist? I drew it. Like, oh, you did? Draw. I did. Oh, okay. I just couldn't draw 60 pages, so I cut gotcha. it down to 20. Oh. <laughs> Bare bones, like, as fast is as... Is this out there? Can we find it? Um, it is It is out there in places. Right now, I'm thinking about recoloring it and, and re-lettering it and submitting it through that Comixology submit oh, yeah. Comixology thing. Yeah. Um, if there's any interest in anyone ever reading that. Let us um, know in, in the comments below, downstairs. Uh, right, right there. Yeah. So I did that, and, and, and then Heidi, again, wonderful woman, she wrote it, and she goes, okay, well, now you have to write a paper, like, defending it so that the, the dean of students can justify you getting a film degree by making a comic book. Oh. Uh, and so I had to, like, deconstruct Why? sequential art and liken it to film and, and wrote, like, this 15 or 17-page paper or something. And they gave it to you. And they gave it to me. Well done. And I'm well really, done. I'm really, uh, I'm really happy they did. You're I was, in surprise. There was, there was a few minutes of sweat, just like, oh, my God. <laughs> what are they going to say when they read this? <laughs> why, why am I writing this? this is so, like, because you go to, like, the film screening, like, our, our capstone mm -hmm. final screening, and it's, like, a list of films... And then see also in the lobby comic by Sterling oh, Gates. I was and there's like a podium <laughs> with the comic on it. And people are flipping <laughs> through it. I was really hoping you were gonna say that they got to your part of that, and they were like, "All right, everybody, pull out your comic books. Now be silent for three minutes." <laughs> <laughs> now we'll all have a group reading. You will be playing the part of Colin. You think she's a villain? Oh, she's 100 percent a villain. She's just getting them all drunk all the time. Yeah, she's stealing their money. You know how many members of the Enterprise crew owe Garnet money? A There's lot. no money in, in space. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. no space money. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's a fun project, and I, I, it turned out, I thought, really well. And, and they gave me a degree, 